Okay, now for our main course, which is Aapka Gosh or meat that's been cooked in milk. Now, this is part of the Vazwan or the Royal Cuisine Feast that is put together in Kashmiri food. Now, to get started, I have here about two kgs of meat, which I'm going to separate. I'm going to try to take the pieces which are not bone. Now, I've used the shoulder of mutton, which is, as I always say, the best piece of meat. So, nice juicy pieces of meat. Don't mind if they're small bones, but try to stay away from these big ones because they'll just get in your way in your main final dish. Although, they're very delicious to sort of, you know, chomp on. But today I thought, let's put them aside and let's just use the lovely, lovely pieces of mutton. There we go. And I will keep the rest of this meat for cooking later on. Okay. Now, into this meat, I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of turmeric, Levels, not too much because it might become, you know, might overpower the meat. And that goes. One and a half teaspoons level of red chili, you know, red chili powder. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of salt or aniseed. Again, this is very different and it's essential in Kashmiri cuisine. I'm going to put in some mustard seed. Again, because I'm not using mustard oil, I use the seed instead, you know, to give it an accentuate flavor and, of course, give a different dimension to the meat itself. So, one teaspoon of that, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, two, three, you know, black peppercorns, two cloves, and one and a half teaspoon coriander powder. It's going to be very aromatic. Finally, two teaspoons of salt. Right, now I've got all my spices in the bowl. Now I want to add some extra condiments to this to add to my aapka gosht. Now for that, I've got some ginger over here. I take about a nice little, you know, two and a half inches, which will amount to about one tablespoon of ginger. I'm just going to slice it up. Thick slices at first, and then just strip it. There we go. So have two tablespoons of ginger shredded. This goes straight in. Next, I've got one onion that I've halved over here. Just gonna slice that up as well. Fabulous. So one large onion sliced, in that goes. The juice about one lemon, squeeze it straight in. Now, we are ready to cook this. I'm just going to pour in some oil straight on. Because in fusion, we believe doing everything in one bowl is a key component to cooking. So about three and a half tablespoons of oil in there. Let's take it to the side and grab a big pot. Okay. Get your pot onto a high flame. And then, very simply, and with a lot of plum, pour this straight in. Okay, so now my meat is pretty brown. I'm gonna add in about five tomatoes that I chopped up earlier. In they go. Give it a good stir. Right, now while my tomatoes break down, I'm gonna add one last thing. And that is the milk, which is a key component in this dish. I'm gonna pour in about half a liter. And now for the last component, which is about 400 mils of water. I'm just gonna pour that straight in. That's it. Stir it a bit. Right, so now I've added in about 400 mils of water. All I need to do is pop the lid on and let this reduce and turn into a fantastic yogurt based curry, which is quite dry. And that's gonna take about an hour and a half.